Welcome back to another tax tutorial. I'm Gerard. So in my last video, I talked about output VAT and the different types of sales for VAT purposes. If you haven't watched it yet, the video is right here and also links in the description below. So in connection to that video, I'll be talking about DIM sales transactions. Output VAT usually comes from sale or exchange of transactions carried out in the ordinary course of business for a fee, remuneration, or consideration either in kind or in cash. In simplicity, ordinary sales usually occur when the seller has the obligation to deliver the goods or the services and the buyer has the obligation to also give the consideration. Now, the sale is generally recognized as revenue when both parties have already fulfilled their respective obligations. For example, Mr. A is a proprietor of a VAT-registered grocery store that normally sells goods to customers. The grocery store conveys or, in some instances, delivers the purchased goods by the buyer, while the buyer pays an amount or consideration equivalent to the goods purchased from the store. But for VAT purposes, we also have what we call deemed sales transactions. These are special sales wherein, as the term suggests, are also considered as sales but not necessarily fall under the purview of normal bookkeeping or accounting standards. So what are deemed sale transactions? According to the tax code as amended, there are four transactions classified as deemed sales. The first one is transfer, use, or consumption not in the course of business of goods or properties that are ordinarily intended for sale or for use in the course of business. Such transfers occur when goods or properties not in the ordinary course of business of a VAT-registered person withdraws goods from his business for personal use. For example, a VAT-registered restaurant celebrated the holiday season in December 2022. The entity consumed 50,000 VAT-exclusive worth of restaurant's food during the celebration. Will the transaction be subject to VAT? The answer is yes, output VAT is 6,000. Consumption of goods not in the ordinary course of business that are meant for use or sale in the ordinary course of business shall be considered as deemed sold. Now, the second transaction is distribution or transfers to shareholders or investors as share in the profits of the VAT registered person or creditors in payment of debt or obligation. For example, a VAT registered dealer of securities distributed shares of stock that are normally sold in the course of its business amounting to 1 million pesos exclusive of VAT as property dividends. Will the transaction be subject to VAT? In this example, the transaction is distribution of property dividends. Take note of what was distributed to shareholders were goods normally sold in the course of its business. Now with that, it shall be subject to VAT being a deemed sale transaction. In another example, a VAT-registered manufacturer did not have enough cash to pay the currently maturing debt. The creditor accepted inventory amounting to 112,000 inclusive of VAT as mode of payment. Will the transaction be subject to VAT? The answer is yes, it will be subject to VAT amounting to 12,000 pesos. Using goods intended for sale as a mode of payment to creditors or dashon in pago shall be considered as deemed sale transactions. The third transaction is on consigned goods, more specifically if such goods were unsold within 60 days from the date such goods were consigned. Now in accounting, this isn't the case as unsold goods still remain as inventory on the part of the consignor. But for tax purposes, the notion is these particular goods will be sold anyway, even if in reality it remains to be unsold for more than 60 days. So for example, in the beginning of the year, a VAT-registered merchandiser delivered goods on consignment to a consignee amounting to 80,000 VAT exclusive. By the end of March 2022, the goods remain unsold. Will the transaction be subject to VAT? The answer is yes, output VAT is 9,600. The consigned goods were still unsold from January to March which is more than 60 days. Therefore, are considered as deemed sale transaction, which is subject to VAT. The fourth and last transaction is retirement or cessation of business 
with respect to all goods on hand. The goods we're talking about here could be capital goods, stock and trade, supplies, or materials at the date of retirement or cessation, whether or not the business is continued by the new owner or successor. So for example, Mr. A is a VAT registered proprietor engaged in selling automotive parts. During the year, a VAT registered corporation bought the business from Mr. A. Included in the assets bought by the corporation were inventories and supplies with market value of 1.2 million and 300,000 VAT exclusive respectively. Will the transaction involving inventories and the supplies be subject to VAT? The answer is yes, output VAT is 180,000. As mentioned earlier, the retirement of business will bring about deemed sale transactions with respect to goods on hand, whether or not the business is continued by the new owner or successor. And that's it. So for more videos related to VAT or business taxes, you can check the links in the description below. And if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it helps me and the channel a lot. So this is Gerard. I'll talk to you in the next one.